These pigs may save your life one day. They are genetically modified to have cancer and are now helping this startup find cures. Pigs are 98% similar to humans, so while researchers have been able to cure cancer thousands of times in mice models, it still hasn't been solved yet in humans. So we have a biomedical cancer model that precisely mimics the human condition. So by using the pig model, they're in a much faster pathway to finding a patient cure. These pigs live at Recombinetic's secret farm outside of the Twin Cities. These two pigs were engineered to have a disease called neurofibromatosis type 1 or NF1. This is a disease that affects 1 in 3,000 children. We have gone ahead and made an exact human mutation in the gene in our pigs. We've learned so much from these trials. We've learned better ways to dose patients. And we've learned how to detect whether these drugs are working in the animals and these methods can be applied to, to patients as well to see early on if a drug is being effective. So they were using just farm pigs before in the past to test things. But ours are gene edited to carry that humanized trait. So if it's a particular type of cancer like NF1, or if it's something like Alzheimer's disease, we are able to more precisely mimic the human condition in the pig so that when you're testing your medical device or your pharmaceutical compound, you have a much higher likelihood of success because the pig is so much more similar to the human. In fact, they are so similar that eventually they will be able to harvest human organs in the pigs. We use pigs as incubators to grow human cells and tissues and eventually organ products that can be transplanted back into humans. A patient could have a personal pig that would grow organs from their own stem cells. So effectively, you'd be able to use your skin cell, grow an organ product, and then schedule your surgery at some point in the future by the time the pig is fully grown. This will provide an amazing breakthrough and say, have the ability to save 22 people every day who are dying waiting for an organ transplant. The use of a person's own cells could greatly reduce rejection of the organ. If you have a child who has diabetes that has an insulin pump, I would say within several years we'll be able to grow pancreas cells that can be produced in a pig. Within two to three years, we can grow liver cells that can be transplanted back into humans. And the ability to use a pig as a human blood bank is also within a few short years. So these aren't ideas that are wild and 10 years off. This is the here and now, and the scientists at Recombinetics are advancing breakthroughs that get us closer to growing those organ products. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.